Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Oh, Harry. On the kind of blast, Obama, Tony Blair, questions why Osibanjo, Abakari, not in jail. Nandi Kano, leader of the frontline indigenous people of Biafra, has blasted those that held President Muhammad Buhari into power in 2015, saying they should cover their faces in shame. According to Unandi, those that gave power to the current administration did so in a misplaced hope that the administration will fight corruption and subdue Boko Haram but should not be but should now be ashamed of themselves because it was a shattered dreams. And then they wondered why former Abia State Governor Oji Uzokalo and former People Democratic Party PDP spokesman Olisa Mata would be incarcerated. Why Abakari and Vice President Yemi Osibanjo are working free and not indicted for stealing over 1.3 stealing over 13 billion meant for the state hospital clinic a lamb blasted world leaders such as barack obama david cameron tony blair yoruba media yoruba intelligence and some politicians from the east for instilling and presenting this administration to the south southeast and southwest and encouraging people to support them look at what your support has done have you seen for yourself a man who is out there to kill people a man who does not support who does not even speak a man who is an imposter in the nigeria who does not even speak to his people or encourage them and feed them on the dailies regarding the coronavirus Onandi Kano was reacting to a newspaper headline, Desperate, despite gulping 13 billion in five years, state clinic, state house clinic unfit to treat Abakare. The masses are dying of hunger and no hospital for the sick. Their leaders have stolen all the money, Kano wrote on Facebook. Those that entrusted power to the current bunch of wide, vicious Fulani beasts in the misplaced hope that they would fight coronavirus and subdue Boko Haram should be thoroughly ashamed of themselves, especially the likes of Barack Obama, who was the president of America at the time, David Cameron, the prime minister of the United Kingdom, Tony Blair, Yoruba Media, Yoruba Intelli Intelligence, the Aferi Ferris, and from people from the East who also supported and brought their proposition to us that he's a good man and will help the Nigerian economy. According to the high POB leader, rather than make this better, they claimed, they have worsened things and in fact, it's not even worse, it's bad than worse. Students no longer go to school and, ha and uh, to stay in school until the completion of the semester. The reasons for pointing this to the article is because millions of people are without any income, literate, starving, literally starving to death. Yet, Buhari has locked down, saying he's controlling COVID-19 with the resources particularly diverted to one aspect and one line of the nation, the North, not even money being divided fairly or accordingly. What about the South? The South is the Southwest and other parts of Nigeria. You can see that all they do is enrich themselves. Another reason being the need to nail the truth of the myth that Fulani ethnics are showing you calling, calling on headsmen and um, needless certificate from ABU Zaria via a quote that um, they have stopped visa on arrival to give these people nationality that are not even Nigerians. The elites are the most corrupt in Nigeria, but they go about free and the simple man on the streets is the one that suffers for any mis 
and for any misconduct. My question tonight to all of you who have hailed and have encouraged this um, governor, this administration into governance, can you see for yourself? And I say it again to you, all of you who have helped this governor, this administration into power, have you seen for yourself how come the person who stole 13 billion is still working free in daylight? Osi Banjo, the vice president, all of them, nobody is saying anything. Yet, the likes of Kano Olisa are in prison. EFCC is there. EFCC has not caught up with them. Broad daylight, they parade themselves. Where is the 13 billion meant for the um, hospital in Abuja? We all know the reason why, we don't, why they don't do anything about Boko Haram. It's because they are the ones financing and supporting them. They have an agenda. We all know the reason, but nobody is saying anything. Everybody knows the truth. This is the height of injustice and misappropriation of funds. The Fulanis are there carrying out evil in Nigeria. The Kabar is aware of it. Everybody knows what this administration aim and what their focus are. It's not to serve the Nigerian people. Where is the EFCC who they send about as their backing dog to challenge and to unveil and to that constantly takes bribe and assent only to go to where they where they back and they shout. They don't look after the Nigerian people. They are not investigating anything. They are only investigating who Buhari sends them to. Have you noticed that their journalists in Nigeria never demand never demand an EFCC investigation or encourage or inquiry into the miss, missing billions stolen by Abakarim? Why has EFCC not gone to probe into the matter. They can't, clearly, because those are their boss. Instead, they, par they parade themselves in matters that needless not to be parade about. Pray and, pray and praise very well, though, because the times that we are facing and we are working now, starvation is on the height and increase. Lack of access to good health is on the rise and increase. The world leaders that put this people into power should come and see what they have done to Nigeria. Rather than hang these people in public for the crime they have committed to the masses and humanity, an impoverish, impoverishment they have caused to the Nigerian economy, they walk around free and Buhari keeps giving us fake news from the sideline, saying he's addressing Nigerian people from a foreign country. Nigerians, it is time for us to wake up, but Bafia will rise again. That's why we are asking of all Biafrans, wherever you are, let us work together. Let us come together and make sure that this reign of terror comes to an end. We know that very soon and very soon we'll be out from this zoo and we'll have a nation where we have where it's free and fair and where we can have access to what really belongs to us. Well, you've heard the news all. Um, the indigenous people of Brafia, Nandi Kano, their leader, has spoken and um, has analyzed what has been going on said even if Buhari will not do the right thing, what about Osiba and Joe? And he went ahead to condemn all the activities of the world leaders who encouraged and supported the rise of this administration, especially in 2015, when Buhari was presented to us as a presidential candidate for the People's Democratic Party. He explained that these people that supported him should come out now and look at what is going on in Nigeria. They should come and see for themselves the things that they have set up in Nigeria. You see, you see what they have done to the Nigerian people? That they should come out and they should speak. Look at what they have done. See what is going on. See what the people are suffering. And that they should come and, um, you know, they should come and look at what they have done in the Nigerian population. Buhari is there, walking free. Abba Karim, who... Uh, it was, it's not anybody that said it to Buhari's wife herself is the one that said he has not been paying doctors over for the five years Abba Karim has been the one that has been given the money to facilitate and uh, equip the uh, Abuja hospital that could not treat him eh? they said he has not been paying doctors he does not do it that Buhari's wife said the money is in his fixed account we all know Nigerians will not call for the arrest of Abba Karim they will not go on social media and it will not be endlessly spoken that Abakari should be. But if it's Funke, they will announce it. Can you say that uh, we are our own enemy? I'm not saying what Funke has done. 
flaunting the law was good though, but let us call a spade a spade. Let us face it and let us do what we are supposed to do. Our fight is not with ourselves. Our fight is with this government who is working in corruption and not allowing the people to see, the, to enjoy the dividends of democracy. Anyway, what do you think? Leave a comment. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good and a wonderful day. Bye.